Hey there. So, we thought we could take you on a glamorous fish journey. This is really about how to cook fish in the oven. But we have a whole world of fish news we want to share with you, so we decided that we'll just put it on here. In this video, we're going to talk about why you should bake your fish. When you eventually decide to eat fish, what is the best way to cook it? It's important to answer this question because there are many ways to cook fish and they all have an effect on the nutrients contained in your fish. We'll discuss the various ways to cook fish and their effects. Cooking fish by deep frying or pan frying. The process of deep frying and pan frying are the same because you need hot oil or fat for both processes. The difference here is that when pan frying your fish needs only to sit halfway into the hot oil. But when deep frying, your fish is totally submerged in the hot oil. The frying process causes the fish to soak up oil that impacts the level of calorie content and the type of fat in the fish. For example, most vegetable oils have high omega-6 fatty acids. When you fry your fish in them, the fish may soak up inflammatory the omega-6 fatty acids. This is found more in deep-fried fish than in fish that is pan-fried majorly because deep-frying requires a larger amount of oil. However, if you are frying fatty fish, it'll absorb less fat than when you are frying lean fish. Another point to consider in oil frying is that it tends to break up the omega-3 fatty acids contained in the fish. Depending on the fish you're frying, the damage may be as high as 70%. This doesn't mean that every fish is affected. Some fish varieties like herring may not be affected by the heat from hot oil. Omega-3 is not the only nutrient affected by frying. Vitamin D may also be destroyed in some fish species. In fact, fish may form compounds like PAHs polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and has heterocyclic amines through the frying process. This doesn't mean that you can't fry your fish at all. Try frying with oil that doesn't break up from high heat, like olive oil. Besides, you may choose to pan fry more than you deep fry. Cooking by steaming or poaching. Whether you're steaming or poaching, you'll need some form of liquid to cook your fish. When you poach, it means that you use liquid to cook in your fish in the oven. The liquid here may be water, wine, milk, or stock. When you steam, you use hot vapor with the fish placed in a special kind of pot. The advantage of these types of cooking style is that you don't need extra fat or oil to cook your fish. This means that the calories and fat content of your fish won't change. Again, you'll need a lower temperature to steam or poach your fish than if you have to fry or grill. This is important for preserving the nutrients contained in the fish. Compounds like PAHs and HAS do not form in this condition. Omega-3 fatty acids contained in fish do not break up during steaming or poaching because of the low temperatures involved. In spite of this, steaming is likely to cause the products of cholesterol oxidation to increase and these are not healthy compounds. Cooking by broiling and grilling. If you want to make very delicious fish and you want it very fast with minimal fats, grilling or broiling is the way to go. When it comes to the amount of heat need to cook fish, they both require dry heat in really high temperatures. However, when grilling, you'll apply heat from under the fish. But if you're broiling, you'll pass the heat overhead. The problem with broiling and grilling is that the high heat from open flame causes the fish tissues to form PAHs and has compounds which are harmful to human health. These methods can also cause ages advanced glycation end products to form. Although compounds like HAS and PAHs pose a greater risk in red meat, you want to reduce how much you eat them from food. Ages is found naturally in the body as you grow older but if a person has them in high quantity. They are more at risk of problems like diabetes and heart diseases amongst others. When cooking with grills and broilers, marinate your fish properly, don't cook for too long, and try not to char the fish. Cooking sous vide. This method involves cooking your fish in a pouch that is completely closed. Inside the pouch, the fish has a water bath at a controlled temperature. Literally, cooking happens under vacuum. It takes long but the regular temperatures help to retain moisture and nutrients. 
Omega-3, which is one of the most important nutrients in fish, doesn't break up in this process. There is not a lot of has and other harmful compounds formed in this process. If you have all the time, sous vide is a better method to cook your fish. Cooking with microwave. The technology in microwave involves the oven using energy waves to cook. As the energy waves move around the fish, the interaction causes vibrations and in that process, the fish heats up. The temperatures involved are low and the fish cooks fast. When you cook fish in the microwave, the nutrients in it, including omega-3 fatty acids, are less likely to break down. The low cooking temperatures also mean that PAHs and HAS won't form on the fish. Cooking in the oven. Baking fish involves using dry heat in a closed system but not with open flame. This method has a higher ability to preserve the omega-3 content and vitamin D present in the fish. The other side is that if you rub your fish in volatile cooking oil before baking, the omega acids content may alter. You should use oil that is stable even in high heat to marinate your fish. An example is olive oil. This means that it's okay for you to cook your fish in the oven. Woohoo! If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. Visit our site zimovens.com for more awesome oven-baked recipes like this.